Hi, in this lesson we are going to write a simple program to sort the elements in an array using the bubble sort. So if we see here the bubble sort algorithm, this is how we perform. Here we have an array, so array of elements. So what we do is first we compare first two elements. As they are out of order, we are going to swap them. Next we compare second and third element. Again they are out of order, so we swap them. Next we move on to the third and fourth element, we compare them. As they are out of order, we swap them. Then we move on to the next pair. They are already in the ascending order, so we don't need to swap them. We move on to the next one. They are out of order, we swap them. We move to the next pair, we compare them. They are out of order, so we swap them. Next we compare the next two elements and we swap them again. So by the end of first iteration, the maximum element, biggest element is at the end. So we repeat the process. So now we are doing the second iteration. Compare 3 and 5 and sort. Swap it. No need of swap. No need of swap. Swap it. Swap it again. So by the end of second iteration, the last two elements are already in the sorted order. So we don't need to go till the last element. So we already know that is already sorted. So this is the third iteration. No need to swap. No need to swap. Swap them. Then swap them again. So by end of iteration 3, the last 3 elements are sorted. So we continue this process till all the elements are sorted. Let's look at the same thing in uh, PowerPoint also. Here I want to make some points very clear. So that is the reason I am running the same thing through PowerPoint. So this is a bubble sort algorithm. We have an array 53241. We want to sort it. So iteration 1. Basically we compare first 2 elements. As they are out of order, we are going to swap them. So after swap, it is going to be 3, 5, 2, 4, 1. Again, we compare second and third element. We swap them. Here you can see 5 and 2 are swapped to 2 and 5. We do the same thing with third and fourth element. Again, we are going to swap them. Now we are going to compare the last two elements. We will swap them. So by the end of iteration 1, as you can see, the last element is in the sorted order. So first four elements, we have to sort it again. So we go to iteration 2. At the beginning of iteration 2, we have 3, 2, 4, 1, 5. We compare 3 and 2, we swap them. Then we compare 3 and 4, there is no need to swap. They are already in the order. Then we compare 4 and 1 and we swap them. So in the iteration 2, we are going to compare only three times. If you have observed in the iteration one, we have compared four times, but uh, as the iteration number increases, the number of comparisons will decrease. So by the end of iteration two, the last two elements are in the sorted order. Okay, let's move on to iteration three. So we started with two, three, one, four, five, last two elements already sorted. So we compare two and three, no need to swap. Then we compare three and one, they are out of order, so we swap them. So Iteration 3 has only two comparisons. So by the end of iteration 3, we have last three elements in the sorted order. Let's move on to iteration 4. At the beginning of iteration 4, last three elements are already in the sorted order. And we are going to compare 2 and 1. There is a need for swap, so we are going to swap it. So this is the end of iteration 4. And last four elements are already in the sorted order. We don't need to go for iteration 5 because there is only one element and that is obviously is in the sorted order. So this is all about bubble sort. As the bubbles come from the bottom of lake to the top of lake, similarly in the bubble sort, the biggest element is going to come to the end or it is going, it is getting sorted just like a bubble. So that is about this presentation. Let's write a simple Java program. It is going to be very easy because the bubble sort is the simplest of all the sorting algorithms. Performance wise, it is not at all good because there are so many comparisons and there are so many swaps. 
going to happen so it is very slow we can do it for uh, 10 elements or 15 elements at the max but if you have 100 elements or 1000 elements then bubble sort is not the one we have to choose there are many sorting algorithms so we have to choose one of the fastest ones like merge sort okay here we have an array array of integers we have 5 3 2 4 1 let me print that before sorting as you can see here this is the array okay now what we have to do we have to write a for loop so from the starting element okay here we have five elements so we have to go till index 3 right so 0th index we compare with 1 first index we compare sec index 2 we compare index 3 we compare with the last one so the maximum index we go is till 3 only so what are we going to do we we are going to compare right if 5 is greater than 3 we have to swap it if you remember the swapping program we had what we are going to do is before assigning we are going to add and subtract i plus 1 so before subtracting we are going to assign this value to a of i so this is how we are going to swap those two elements by the end of the first iteration the last element is going to be 5 so let's print that so this is a array before starting and at the end of the first iteration this is 5 the last element is 5 so we have to repeat the same thing for uh, how many more times we had four iterations right so let's repeat this one for four times so in j equal to 0 less than or equal to 3 so that is going to give us four iterations j plus plus let me format it okay so now with each iteration the maximum element is going to move to the end let's run it so here you can see by the end of the first iteration 5 is there second iteration last two elements are sorted by the end of third iteration last three elements are sorted by the end of last iteration last four items are sorted so it is as good as all five elements are sorted but we are doing some extra work here so first before hard coding instead of hard coding these values let's change them to proper values so ai dot length which is going to be 5 we have to do minus 2 okay also here with each iteration i don't need to go till the last element so if you remember first iteration i did four times second iteration i did only three times so third iteration i compared only two times so that is what this subtraction is going with every iteration we are decreasing the last index that we are going to compare okay we are going to print it again to make sure this is already in a sorted order so we are good here so this program is going to help you to properly visualize the indexes and also how to write these index uh, boundary conditions so if you are not writing any programs the chances are you are going to go out of ind out of index here and you are going to get array index out of bound exceptions okay that is all about bubble sort in the next lesson we are going to look at insertion sort uh, that is a bit complex uh, logic wise actually to understand both are same i mean the complexity is same but to write it we need a bit more understanding to write it properly we need to be very careful okay we're anyhow we are going to write insert insertion sort in the next program thank you for watching please subscribe and share it with others thank you